Hi, this is a session on HTML5 semantic coding. And we'll start off by taking a quick look at uh, a web page and, and the structure of the web page and how that relates to the tags and the semantic tags we'll be using in HTML5. So obviously we here we've got a uh, um, web page up here in the top right hand corner um, whereas usually the web page's title, we can see they've got the stop censorship on it because of the uh, Wikipedia blackout uh, um, protesting against the uh, U.S. SOPA or, or online piracy uh, um, bill. Um, but here we've got the, the website title. Then we've got the title for the article. And then we've got the, an actual article. And the article is broken down into sections. And uh, then if we look over here on the right-hand side, you can see there's a sidebar. And we're going to be um, putting together a, uh, a layout in HTML5 that's going to um, describe all of these information, such as uh, a header, um, sections, uh, headers, section headers, um, and uh, articles in, in those sections. Let's just flip over here to Dreamweaver and we'll start a new uh, document in Dreamweaver, a new HTML page. And we'll use uh, um, HTML. The layout will be none. I'll set the doc type to HTML5 and click on Create. Okay. And so here you can see we've got the uh, new HTML5 document type definition just a simple uh, simple definition. Then we've got the basic structure for our document. Uh, we can put in a title here um, that, that will appear obviously in the in the title bar of the uh, of the document. And so if we want to look and then we'll look at the uh, um, the headings that we can use or the text that we can use. Um, so the first thing that we'll do is we'll create a header. And in this header, we can put the title of our website. Or we could obviously put any, uh, any information that we wanted. Um, inside the header, we'd like to have uh, some our site navigation, and so instead of using doing something like div id equals site nav, which is what we used to do, what we would do in if we were using HTML4, we can just use the new HTML5. Um, navigation uh, or, or nav tag uh, so something like home products services now obviously I'm not making these into links right now just uh, um, focusing on the main tags so that would be the header at the top of our page something similar to right we've got uh, um, the uh, the site title and then we could have a, a menu as if we're having a, a horizontal menu, although this menu is in the sidebar, and we'll look at how to do that as well. Okay. After that, we want to set up uh, a div for organizing how the page is going to be laid out. So all our content is going to, be, is going to come inside this div. And that's just to be able to lay it out with the width and centered and, and things like that, how, how, and things how we want to be them to appear. Um, next, we can create a page, uh, a header for the page. And 
so so this will give us the uh, the the particulars on the on this page. Then we can create a, a section as if it's the uh, sports section or news section or international section of uh, of a magazine or newspaper, and inside that we can have. The section heading, and then we can have the actual article with the title of the article. And then the text of the article. And so you can see we've, we've set up an, a nice little hierarchy here. Uh, the website title, page title, section heading, um, article uh, title, and then the content of the article will come below. And obviously we would add images and whatever we would need uh, to add there. Um, so we finish. So this is the end of the this article. There's the end of our sports section. Okay. And we could add other sections such as news. Or whatever it is that we wanted to. Montreal infrastructure. And so we'd have an, a, a second section here with its own articles. And again, we could have multiple articles in there. Um, then as we saw in the, uh, the other layout, um, often we would like to use columns for our layouts. And so there's a new uh, tag in HTML5 for columns, which is uh, aside. And again, here we can give it a header. some menu items and then if we want we could add uh, some content let me just move this up a, a little bit so you can see it um, so now you can see instead of having div equals this and div equals that, we've got tags such as nav and header and aside and section and article that all describe semantically in plain English what the um, function or goal of that is on the, uh, on the website, of that section is on the website or that element is on the website. Um, Hope this helps, and, uh, and, and we'll be creating using a similar structure for our websites in the future.